Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So as you can probably tell, I've got my vacuum pump hooked up to a glass bottle to make a small vacuum chamber. And on the end here, I've drilled a small hole, which is about the same size as the hole that was in the side of the space station. So, the question is, what happens if I try to seal such a hole with my finger? So this is simulating uh, outer space. Of course, this vacuum pump can't get quite down to the vacuum levels of space, but yeah, it gets pretty down low. But, will it uh, suck my finger through? Will it cause damage? Spoilers, it won't. But, to demonstrate, let's turn this on. And stick my finger over the end. And create a vacuum. There it is. I can definitely feel it pulling on my finger, but my finger's fine. In fact, I can kind of move it around if it becomes uncomfortable, like move it to a different spot. Because over time it does, well, become uncomfortable. But it's certainly possible to hold your finger over such a hole. Uh, the pressure differential is only about 12 pounds per square inch. Uh, 12 pounds per square inch is the absolute pressure that we have at this altitude, by the way. Which is not much different than what they have inside the space station. So 12 pounds per square inch is pushing here. Zero is pushing here, so it creates a net force this way. But keep in mind, this hole is very small, so the total amount of force is also rather small. So it's easily, uh, so I'm easily able to pull my finger back off. It creates almost no resistance. There might be just a little bit. You might be able to see it pulling on my skin just a little bit there before it breaks free. And also, you can see the mark on my skin that's left. It's very small, and it goes away quickly. In order to show that I am actually making a vacuum, let's uh, inject a little bit of water into the chamber. Okay, wipe off the excess. So now I've got a little bit of water in there. Now, if I suck out enough of the air, the water should begin to boil as the pressure inside the chamber reaches the vapor pressure of the water. So let's turn on the pump. Seal it in. And as you can see, the water is boiling quite profusely. And it slows down a little bit as the water cools off. There you go. So you can uh, go ahead and look up the tables for what the vapor pressure of the water would be at this temperature, which is, you know, it's, you know the bottle's probably about body temperature. The water in my skin would also boil, but uh, there's really not a whole lot of uh, water available to be boiled in the skin. Now the skin actually seals the water in quite well. You know, otherwise you would dry out very quickly if the humidity was too low, right? Putting your finger on a vacuum is pretty much the equivalent of uh, putting your finger on a chamber which has zero humidity inside. It would dry you out, but it's gonna take a while. Now, could I seal this hole with duct tape? So basically the same thing as the astronauts did. All right, so let's get this duct tape off. There we go. Get on the vacuum pump. And seal the hole. This seals it just fine. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now there's still gonna be a little bit of gas actually diffusing through the tape itself, but for the most part that has completely shut down the flow. <laughs> Duct tape's some pretty good stuff. But this also shows kind of why my finger was also okay. As you think about it, my skin is very similar to this tape. You know, it's kind of a stretchy uh, membrane here, which takes quite a bit of force to break, if you think about it. And it's just like the tape, you know, the little bit amount, the little bit of force that is generated by this small amount of vacuum is just not enough to break through it. Now if this hole was a little bigger, it might be a different story. So to get the larger hole, let's just cut this off. I, I glued this in, so I had to cut it. So now, I've got a bit larger of a hole. That's really around half an inch there. So let's turn on the pump. And you can probably use a larger finger, like a thumb. There it is. So now the force is a lot more significant. You know, it's 
Oh, the tube's collapsing. It's only maybe a couple of pounds of force pushing in right now. And, uh, of course, if I were to leave my thumb on here a lot longer, it would uh, maybe cause some of the capillaries to burst and maybe I'll leak some blood, you know, give me a hickey. But for a short period of time, this is all right. So you can see the, the market leaves. Actually, one thing I'll note, it actually kind of feels cool. Like, the, the part of skin right there actually is uh, cold when I put the vacuum on it. That, of course, is due to the evaporating water. Okay, there you go. Uh, you can try it with duct tape if you like. It's a little bit harder to seal such a large hole with duct tape, especially since it's not a flat surface, but let's try that anyway. Yeah, there it is. And it's not making a perfect seal, but it's pretty good. Alright, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.